Unfurling crane is a self-defense technique in American Kempo for second degree brown, assuming you're doing the 24 technique system. I'm gonna show the way it's typically taught and then a, a few modifications I think that you're gonna enjoy. So it's usually taught for a, a, a step through left punch and then a step through right punch, which to me is a lot of steps without hitting the person. So I like to do it for a step through left and then a right uh, straight cross. It's usually taught where we do a vertical outward block and then you throw just and move in and make my straight. The, the issue I have, I've said this in other videos, is I'm not a big believer in a vertical outward block. In fact, I don't think you'd be able to pull it off on the street because it's just so atypical. We don't move that way. So what I'm going to do is instead of doing vertical outwards, I'm going to do parries. So as he throws the left, I do a left inward and a right outward parry. Watch that again. And then as it comes with the right, I parry that and I move in and I hammer the groin. Okay, so watch this again. So we're going to go, here's the left, and I move in and I hammer the groin. You can see that shot. Do it from this angle. Okay, so he comes with the left, and he comes, and I hammer the groin. Now, the issue is, I haven't hit him until I hammer him, ham, hammer him in the groin. So if you think about it, there's a time gap. And if I slow it down, he does the left, and he does the right, and then I hit him. But if you think about the rule, never cross the center line without striking. To prevent that right hand, I'm gonna hammer him in the nose, just like shield and hammer. So I'll go slow, he does the left, and look at this shot. Boom! Then I move and I make my hammer. So I intercept and hammer the nose as I cross the center line. Rather than the time gap, watch me not do the hammer. See the gap in motion. So the way to eliminate the gap is boom, make your shot, boom, and then hammer shot to throwing. You guys see that? Okay, so he does the left and I go, he does the right, how, boom, and then I do my claw back knuckle. And I drag in and I hammer and sink with the heel palm. Then I contour up the body, I catch him with an elbow, I'm just gonna turn for the camera, catch him with the elbow and I scoop and I hit him with a side kick and a hand sword at the same time, okay? So if we think of these techniques, if you think of swinging pendulum, I would do this move. Now swinging pendulum is in this. Here's swinging pendulum right now. But if you think of shield and hammer, do a step through left. There would be shield and hammer. So I'm gonna throw swinging pendulum, it's actually already in there, and shielding hammer in the technique. So we go, here comes the left. Wop! I hammer, then I do raining claw. So you can see that three techniques are contained. Okay, now we'll still have him throw the punch, the right punch, but the point is, is don't wait for the punch to occur. Intercept it. So, here comes the left. Hammer! Wop! Hammer! One, two, wop! Smash! Hit that! Now, that can work in sync. Or I can time it different. I can side kick and then hand sword. I'll show it one more time. So he comes with the left. Watch, smash that, strike this, rip. Now watch. I can also switch up my timing a little bit. Hit him with the side kick and then the hand sword. That is unfurling crane.